stop for another offense first. And two news meteorologist George Flickinger joining us now here at yeah. the desk. And George, uh, partly mm -hmm. cloudy out there, but the sun's beginning to peek out a little bit. Any sun we can get helps, and mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have a nice amount of sunshine coming up for the weekend. First, though, I want to take a look at the weather computer. I want to take you back to the Sand Springs tornado because we still have mm -hmm. some new information on this. If you missed it earlier, the National Weather Service released their report rating this an EF tornado. So, Libby, what they do, they go and look at the tornado damage. Look at some of the indicators, and from that, they're able to estimate the wind speed. This was about a half mile wide tornado, and it was on the ground for nine miles. Now, Libby, this tornado actually formed on top of Keystone Lake, and there's a lot of folks, you, you hear all sorts of things about tornadoes. You know, you, you know how people talk, you know how we talk. You say, mm -hmm. well, there's rivers, there's lakes, there's mountains, there's hills in the way. All of these were again disproved by the tornado as it actually formed on top of a lake. It twice, not once, but twice crossed the Arkansas River. And if you've any, ever traveled this area to the west of Sand Springs, this is looking out toward Pogue Airport off Highway 412. This is extremely dense terrain with a lot of trees and very tall hills. This tornado climbed the hills. It was actually at peak intensity when it was climbing the hills. Then it recrossed the Arkansas River along Highway 412 and it weakened just before it reached downtown Sand Springs. It barely missed downtown Sand Springs. Now, as far as a lot of the wind damage, which we saw in the Tulsa area and, the, and also in Sand Springs, this was not from a tornado. Instead, this was from what we call a rear flank downdraft. This is a very strong wind which rotates around around the circulation. I've seen this many times when I've out, been out storm chasing, and sometimes this wind does compare to a small tornado. So on the south side of a tornado circulation, there can be a real strong wind blowing out of the west, and it can do damage, which mimics a tornado. And that's what we saw. So that's the new information we have for you on the Keystone Lake and Sand Springs tornado. No tornado, no severe weather showing up anywhere across eastern Oklahoma today, but we have seen a few small showers trying to make their way out of Kansas and toward Oklahoma City. City. It's really not amounting to much more than sprinkles. I do want to point out that tomorrow morning we are going to see a brief chance for rain. Now it's snowing to the north where it's colder, but we will see a few small showers possible in green country tomorrow morning. Otherwise, dry weather into the weekend. As far as the temps, we've had a tough time warming up with the cloudy skies and also that cool north wind. Probably also want the jacket with you if you're headed out at lunchtime today. Bartlesville's at 45, 43 in Italiqua, 46 Muskogee, and upper 40s into southeastern Oklahoma. Libby, we're seeing more of it right there. See it? Some blue sky. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of sunshine there. All that sunshine, we're going to need as much as we can get to try and warm us up today because right now we're still at 46 with wind chills in the 30s. North wind kind of rocking the camera around at 13. Now, I want to show you on the future track that by this afternoon showing clearing sky, so we'll eventually have some sunshine for this afternoon. Now, coming up late tonight, there's not going to be much rain, but notice the future track is trying to show just a little bit of rain making its way into northeastern Oklahoma. So you may briefly get some rain in the morning, though most of that rain is going to stay to the east of Tulsa, then we'll have full sunshine during the day tomorrow. Today's weather cool 52 at 2 and 55 at 5. And that north wind is going to make it feel even chillier around the rest of green country. Nawada 53, 54 Claremore, Broken Arrow also in the mid 50s today, cooler in Tahlequah at 53 and upper 50s and lower 60s and a north breeze into southeastern Oklahoma. Your seven day forecast. Here's what you've been looking forward to nearing 70 tomorrow and lower 70s for Sunday. Now we'll see changes next week as we're going to get into a spring like weather pattern. Few showers possible on Monday, then on Tuesday, thunderstorm. So Tuesday and Wednesday will be thunderstorm days. We will keep you updated on the severe weather potential for next week. Libby. All right, keep our eye on that one. Thank you very much, it. George. Tonight, the Oklahoma.